Okay, so I've got this little apartment set up in my garage for demonstration. Got a laptop computer plugged in, got a fan, lights, battery charging, phone charging, and I've got a full size refrigerator out here stocked up full of water to simulate it being full of food. It's all plugged into this power strip. The power strip's plugged into the Delta II. So everything's running off the Delta II. You can see we're pulling 222 watts right now and it's charging at 231. We're 100%. And it's all plugged into the utility right now, but we're about to have a power outage. Okay, so it's 8.30 in the morning and the power's going out. See everything clicked off there for a second. We, uh, we've got nothing coming in now. We're 100% and we're pulling 864 watts. Okay, so right now everything's running off of the Delta II. But as I've said, this system is designed for small electronics. Not really meant to hold up a big refrigerator freezer for long periods of time. But that said, if you're in this situation, holding up your fridge freezer is more important to you than this electronics. So we're gonna turn everything else off and we're gonna see how long I can hold up this freezer. And the test is gonna be this little change right here on top of the ice. When that change melts into the ice, that's when we're gonna call it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything else off. And we're gonna see how long we can keep this fridge freezer going. Okay, so let's look at some important data before we get started. Now, I was able to add about 839 watt hours a day just using the 220 watt solar panels to charge it, but you only get about 630 watt hours usable from that because the loss is in the inverter. It's about 75% efficient. Okay, so we got 630 watt hours a day to work with from the solar panels. Now, the refrigerator takes about 750 watt hours a day. I measured that over a two day period and took the average for this refrigerator. All right, so we're 120 watt hours a day short. That means we're gonna need to unplug this fridge a little bit, and cycle it a little bit. But when you turn the refrigerator off, your food doesn't melt immediately because it's down to about zero. And it has to get up to about 32 or 33 before it starts to melt. So we got about seven hours or so to play with there. It's quite a bit. Now I took this data on December 9th, which is pretty close to the shortest day of the year but it was pretty sunny, so we did okay. And the garage the refrigerator was in is 82 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and probably 75 or so at night. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I've unplugged everything except the refrigerator freezer, and I went ahead and popped up my uh, solar panel here in my conveniently located apartment. Okay, so it's 12 noon. We've got 180 watts coming in from solar, 386 watts going into the fridge freezer. It was up at 450 a minute ago, I'm not sure why. So we're down to 96% state of charge. Okay, so it's one o'clock in the afternoon and we're still looking really good. But I am starting to run out of sunlight here. I'm in the, this little corner over here. I might have to stretch out to the other side over here. Chasing the sun a little bit. Okay, so it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Now the refrigerator is way up there in the garage. And I've got a 150 foot extension cord bringing the panel down here. This is where it was yesterday. If I would have started here, I wouldn't have had to move it at all. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Let's just start in this spot. Let's see what we got here. Now we're 100% charged. You see we're taking in zero from the panel. That's because there's no need for it. That's kind of wasting power right now. So this would be a good time to charge the phone, run the fan, you know, look, get on the laptop, check the weather, stuff like that. While wow, we've got a little extra power to play with here. Okay, so it's 4 p.m. and we're losing our sun. We got 97% charge on the battery. And that's going to have to last all through the night. So I can't run it continuously. I'll have to plug it in, unplug it, plug it in, unplug it. So we'll start on that, see how it goes. All right, so I've had the Delta II off for about four hours. I just turned it back on. So that means the fridge has just come back on and it's pulling 135 watts. We're at 98%. Take a peek in here, 20, uh, 30 degrees. 
should be good. Let's see how long we can hang on here. Okay, so I've been powering the fridge for a couple of hours from about 7.30 p.m. to 9.30. So now we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna come back around midnight and then we'll turn it back on. Okay, so it's midnight and I'm turning the refrigerator back on. We're at 80%. So hopefully we'll get, uh, you know, five, six, seven hours out of this overnight. And that'll bring us out to, say, six o'clock. And then we'll just, it'll be off for three hours till about nine. That's when we'll start getting some sun again. Okay, so it's 6.30 in the morning and something odd happened last night. Because when I came out here to check on it in the morning, the Delta II was completely shut down. The inverter was off. And when I turn it back on, we're at 63%. So I think what happened is the refrigerator freezer sat idle long enough that the Delta II went ahead and shut its inverter off to save power. That's what I think happened. I'm not sure, but anyway, we're still at 27 degrees. Everything's still cold and frozen. All right, so it's 8.30 in the morning and we got some sun. I'm in this spot where we're gonna have sun all day, so I won't even have to move it. We'll just rotate it a little bit as we go okay so we completed our first full day and we're starting our second day now this one's going to be harder because we're not starting with a full charge we're only at 50 percent so now the solar coming in has to not only run the refrigerator but it also has to charge this unit back up which will take 500 watt hours just to do that so if we can get back to a hundred percent charge by 4 p.m then essentially we could say that we can run the refrigerator indefinitely provided that we have sunny days okay so we're only at 77 percent charged and i noticed that we've been charging around 130 watts all day as opposed to yesterday we were up around 200. so i figured out that the panel was facing the wrong direction it's a bifacial panel but one side charges like 130 140 watts and the other side charges 180 to 200 watts so Anyway, we got it faced the right direction, but we did lose a lot of power because of that. And it's also been pretty cloudy today. But anyway, we got it going the right way. And uh, let's see if we can make up some, some time in this last hour and a half. All right, so I know what you're thinking. If this is a bifacial panel, can I reflect some sunlight into the backside of it? Well, of course you're thinking that. I was thinking the same thing. So, so I had to put a mirror on here and we're reflecting that light. Look at that. See? Reflecting a little light back there. Does it make a difference? I don't know. Let's see. Let me uh, rat, drop it off. Put it on. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so we got to the end of the day at about 83% and been running the refrigerator for a while. So I'll probably unplug it for a few hours and then we'll do the same drill again till the morning. AM. It's been two full days on the EcoFlow now. We're at 50%. I cycled it twice since the sun went down yesterday. Let's see what we got in here. About 28 degrees and nothing's melted. So we're looking good there. So we got about an hour before the sun comes up, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and use some more of that battery. So the sun's not over the top of the trees yet but I've got my setup here. I've got this down now. It just all I do is rotate this a few times today. It stays in the sun all day. I'm gonna go ahead and switch on the inverter. And we'll run this for an hour or so until the sun comes up and keep right on going. You see the refrigerator's kicking on. Wow, 1300 on the startup. All right, we're coming to the end of the day and we're back to 95% charged, which means I think we can pretty much go indefinitely as long as the sun is shining. All right, guys, it's been exactly three days since the power went out and we've been backing up this refrigerator just on the EcoFlow Delta II. Now, last night was interesting because normally this had been shutting itself off, I think from being idle too long. But last night it didn't shut off at all and it ran from midnight till it's about 9 a.m. now. So nine hours straight and we drained to 27%. Let's see what we got in here. 
So we're right around zero degrees. Now it never melted in here. So we were above freezing the entire time. And based on all this, I'm pretty convinced that as long as the sun is shining, you could hold up this refrigerator with the Delta II. Pretty cool. Okay, so before we go, I'm gonna do one final test. And that is, I'm just gonna cut the power to the fridge. And now, we're just gonna see how long it takes until it starts melting. Now it's been unplugged for two and a half hours. Let's see the temperature here. It's still about 20 degrees. Nothing's melting yet. All right, we're at five hours. Let's see what we got. About 28 degrees. Nothing melting yet. We're up to seven hours now. This has been off. We're at, oh, 31-ish. Yeah, starting to get a little soft here. Oops. Look at that. It's a little soft, but it hasn't sunk in yet. We are now eight hours with the power off. Uh-oh, 38 degrees. We're still on top of the ice, but it's a little loose would still be good like if this was a hamburger uh, I'd just refreeze it so eight hours I think but eh, it's starting to get a little a little bit all right we're at 13 hours with no power here oh yeah we're uh, 40 degrees you can see the water a little water in there now you can see this is melting yeah. so Quite a bit of melting at 13 hours. I mean, at this point, you'd pretty much have to be taking this stuff out and cooking it up. All right, it's been a full day of no power. Still at 40, 41. Pretty melted. Stuff's still on top, though. It's interesting. So if this refroze, you wouldn't know that it had ever melted. That doesn't really work as good as I thought. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that's really wet. It's still kind of cold in here, though. I mean, definitely, uh, you could. It wouldn't be spoiled. You, you'd have to take it out and cook it up. All right, guys. So in summary, I would say that as long as you have good sun, you could use the EcoFlow Delta II with a solar panel to hold up this refrigerator indefinitely. Now the other test I did at the end was the melt test. And I would say that uh, stuff starts to melt around six, seven hours, and you'd probably have to take it out and cook it up after about 10, 12 hours. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.